Now we can start processing our drum kit. So I have the kick snare, four hi-hats together, and then the two crashes grouped together. And this is going to allow us to um, affect each of these groups differently without just putting effects on the uh, master over here. So if I click on the kick and snare, and I'm going to go ahead and group the snare and clap together just by highlighting Command G, and we'll call this snares. And I'm going to have this similar effects chain for each of these. Um, starting with a kick, we're going to have an auto filter, a compressor, then also a limiter. And as I said, these are going to be the same for the snare and the kick, just with different settings. So I can go ahead and click the limiter, press shift, and click auto filter, and command C that, and throw that onto the snares here. So starting with the kick drum, we're going to go ahead and bring up the frequency here, which by default the auto filter is set to a low pass like this, but I use it as a high pass more often, so just click that um, high pass button right there and bring the frequency up to about 62, 65 and bump the cue up a little bit. This is without it. That's with it. So it brings up the sub. Uh, quite a bit. And on the compressor, turn the attack up, turn the ratio up a little bit, bring the threshold down. That sounds good. And then on the limiter, just turn the gain up a little bit. All right, that's good for the uh, kick. Then if we go to the snares, um, again, bring the frequency up a little bit to like 100, 125, depending on the snare. Cool. Then bring the attack up on the compressor, bring the threshold down. That's about right. And turn the gain up on the limiter. Awesome. So then if we go to our hi-hats, I'm going to use another auto filter. And I'm just going to cut out all the low frequency stuff. I'm also going to put a chorus on here just to make it sound a bit more wide. And then moving on to the crashes, I'll go ahead and put a flanger on here, which is a lot like a chorus, and it's just going to widen the sound a little bit. I'm bringing the dry and wet down, because if it's all the way wet, um, it's a little too much for my taste, but you know, if you're going for a special effect, then yeah, go for it. Um, so... Next thing, using the sends and returns within the drum rack. So if I go to the kick and snare, then I can hit the returns right here and throw in a reverb and hit the send if it's not hit already. And then you can send the snare to this reverb. So now it sounds like this. If I go on the reverb and turn the decay time up, quality to high. Brian White all the way up. Please subscribe, like, share, do all that crazy stuff. I really need the money to get a moped. Peace.